and she said we don't have to wait for Christmas to open it. So we're opening it. Here we go. We got. Whoa, that I was gonna do that. Why don't you get your own? <laughs> I can't do it. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Okay. Got a cute little Santa bear. Oh, this is for Megan. So I'm not going to even read it. I just know it's for Megan. So we'll put that off to the side. Oh, this is a beautiful handmade card. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. And it's got an owl with antlers on it, like my <laughs> antlers. It says, Dear Val, Kevin, and Megan, parents-in-law, I hope you enjoy the presents I got you. You make me smile and laugh every day, and I really love your vlogs. Love you guys. Happy Christmas. Love, Lucy Bones. And she handmade the card, and it's got snowflakes on the outside, and on the inside it's got some Christmas trees and snowflakes. Yay. So. Ooh. Uh -huh. There you go. Ah, got all three. Ooh, scared the dog. Oh, be scared. You're okay. I see something here. Don't. Val and Kevin from My Michael, Michelle, Lucy, and Ellie. It's a Pier One gift card. Michelle likes Pier One as much as I like Pier One. So, thank you. I get to go to Pier One to buy something. And you know what? Kevin just broke one of my lanterns last night, so I can buy a new lantern. Why are you? Are you trying to play guess what it is? Oh, we got Boomer here saying Merry Christmas too. <laughs> Or looking at me like, what the heck are you doing? Okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh. oh, I love it. It's an owl. This is not yours. Okay. No. I will put him up high so you cannot reach him. <laughs> so cute. Look how cute. Can you bring him closer and bring of the car course. closer to the camera? Okay. It's Merry Christmas. It's got all snowflakes and stuff on it. It's got an owl picture. Got to get some light on this. Got some owl picture on it. <laughs> so where do we put this? Well, sh show them up close oh, to the camera first. Who? Long legged owl. Who? You. And then we'll show the camera where we put them. So this is where we're going to put them. It's going to be right in Santa Bone's arm. So he feels right next to Lucy and her, her husband. That's right. And, and his mother-in-law. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Lucy, Michael, Michelle, and Ellie. I absolutely we absolutely love it we love owls as you know i showed you several on our tree and now i'm part of lucy owl Yay! thanks guys okay so we have nothing in the house so i have to do a little shopping and you'll get to see what weather looks like in southern california but we just had a bit of a rain Rain doesn't last long around here, <clears throat> so it's already looking pretty nice outside. But um, it's supposed to rain some more, so it's kind of broken up kind of rain. Now the sun's out already. It's kind of like Hawaii in the summer, you know, where it's, it rains downpours and then it stops, except it's colder. Uh, every now and then we'll have what's called a pineapple express, and that's a, uh, a warm warm rain coming from the Hawaii area and uh, those are usually pretty heavy tropical rains the this is a uh, rain it's it's coming from the north I think uh, they talked about it 
in San Francisco, apparently they had quite a downpour up there. And so this, this comes from uh, up north. So it's a colder rain. And by colder rain means it's probably in the 50s right now. So, and for me, that's cold. But for Val, and probably a lot of you, that's pretty warm. So we have decided that it's time for Kevin to get rid of some of his t-shirts. We have decided. Val and decided I need to get rid of my some t-shirts. Will you let me tell the story? <laughs> I'll tell the real story. Go ahead. Well, it started because Megan decided she came downstairs and asked if Kevin had any t-shirts he wanted to get rid of. And of course, I said yes! So, we are going to be going through Kevin's t-shirts right now because his jaw is overflowing. Are you ready? I got my grumpy hat on, so we're ready. <laughs> that was my hat originally, you know. <laughs> All right, so. Let's get going. Wing. What? Um. First things first. This is your shirt. Yes, I know. And it's in the rag shirt because I wear that when I, like, do cleaning and stuff. Okay, now I didn't know that you had shirts in my rag shirt drawer. I like that shirt. Why is it in the rag pile then? It was in your work shirt pile. Just wait. Wait. Does it have any holes or stains of or... Of course. Who cares anyway? Because if it's got holes and stains, you're not wearing it out in public. Keep. Oh, you know, this is not going to work this way. Here, you hold the camera. Get out of my way. I will take care of this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long vlog. It is not going to be that long. Okay, this shirt <laughs> is actually in good shape. This one can go into your shirts that you can wear. Okay. And it has a nice saying on it. I, didn't, I forgot I even had that shirt. You had it hidden away. Didn't hide anything. <laughs> okay, so it's open. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, this is gonna be an hour long vlog because not only am I gonna go through the t-shirts, she needs to fold them, fluff them. This one is white, but it's not white. <laughs> That's Winky. Yes, you must keep Winky. That's he winks winky. at everyone. Have. Oh, yes. I cannot make you get rid of this. <laughs> There's no way. Yes, because, you know, you could have played that scene that, you know, got swallowed by the shark and used the chainsaw inside the shark to cut yourself out. But Can't argue with that logic. That is my favorite shirt. And it's going to disappear one day. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty t-shirts plus whatever's in the laundry and the one you have on. So, and whatever Santa Claus brings you. <laughs> I think you have enough. Sh How many shirts do t-shirts do most men have? Let us know. So, I'm kind of dizzy from before. From before what? When you were 
spinning me around. Hi everybody, guess what time it is? Oh. It's time for shout out. Bonnie Hazen, welcome back. We have missed you. I hope everything is okay. And I hope you're back to stay. We sure as heck missed you. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. Sammy Anir, same thing. Welcome back. I hope everything's okay with you and your family. And I hope you're back to stay. We sure as heck missed you. Adrian110200. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ginger Snap 27239. Welcome to the neighborhood. Rose Cutler. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mr. Fun Guy 65. He's been with us from the beginning. And he hit me up on Twitter today. What's his name again? Mr. Fun Guy 65. Also known as Michael. So, nice to hear from you, Michael. Hope you uh, are enjoying our crazy lives. Um, I think the next one you should say. Oh, okay. Uh, Dana B. Saw, last, her last video just cracked me up, so... Go to Dana B. Saw, check out her channel, watch, watch her it. vlogs. It's She's funny. funny as heck. 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 H-E-double-C-K. <laughs> check her out. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up. She's pretty funny. Teresa Heidi. She said that we have inspired her to start vlogging again. And cool. she went right over and, well, she tried to find Sarah's um, YouTube channel and she couldn't find it right away, so I sent her the link and whatnot. But uh, she's a big supporter as well, and she went right over and followed Sarah and that whole story and everything made her want to start vlogging again. So glad you're starting. I'm already subscribed. Oh. I haven't had a chance to watch anything yet, but I will definitely watch what you have up there. Um, Terry Johnson needs some prayers from everybody for a few people. Yeah. Her cousin's son, Stanley the Third, had a stroke. I mean, he's only 20. And uh, he's recovering, but it, it's rough going. So if everybody can please keep him in and his family in your prayers. Right. Her friend Susan Susanna. Susanna had heart valve surgery. And again, recovering, but it, it's a tough go. So um, if everybody could please keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers. And Terry's cousin's wife, Leslie, it's heartbreaking, is in a coma and she's battling breast cancer and brain cancer. Um, but if everybody could please keep Leslie and her family and your thoughts and prayers as well. Um, we had another entry to the Ugly Sweater Contest from Katie Caroline and it'll be right here. And <laughs> And unfortunately, we um, are sending out our condolences once again uh, to another very important person to us, Christopher Trade Show. Lost his um, his cat to cancer. His cat's name is Sagwa, and they had to put her down today. And very very sad. Um, so Christopher. Um, you're in our thoughts and prayers, and our heart goes out to you, babe. Yeah. So we know how you feel there. Yeah, and Christopher is the one who did the the beautiful tribute to Simba when Simba passed. 
But we do, we will be posting a picture of Sagwa for you all to see. And Christopher does have his own YouTube channel called Christopher Trade Show. If you wouldn't mind going by and stopping by and paying your respects on his channel, that would be awesome. So, okay. Okay. So you have until the 14th, well the 15th, to enter the Ugly Sweater Contest. I think we only have what, three, three. entries? Three entries. We only have three entries right now. Um, we're picking the winner the evening of the 15th during shoutouts. We're going to put the entries into a hut and pick the name. And that person will win Kevin for a 24-hour period to do all your handy dandy, handy needs. No? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> The winner will get this beautiful wax warmer with four different scents. So, if you don't have an ugly sweater, make one. If you can't make one, go buy one. Get your name in to win this prize because three more days, we announce the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No chicken dinner. <laughs> this. <laughs> it's time for neighborhood community credit roll. Is it not coming? Is it not working? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it working yet? Let's see. Is there something stopping it? Hey! Start the credit roll! Okay, here we go. It's got my card. <laughs> which is one of my favorite stores. I love that store. Um, they still have um, Usually I don't have problems talking about things. We had a real fun time going through Kevin's t-shirt drawer. Um, okay, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thumbs up. <laughs> I love them so much. Thumbs up, we'll 